Hey superstars, you know what time it is, right? Yes! Three practice SAT questions with me, Anne-Marie. We're with the problem solving and data analysis for the SAT. So let's dive in and see what's the first rates, ratios, proportions, and percentages question I get. I am heading to page 121, number 21. So let's see what I've got. Ooh, that's a word problem. An expert on car depreciation determines that a certain car costs $35,000 new and will immediately depreciate by $12,000 once it's driven off the lot. Wow, okay. After that, for the first 50,000 miles, the car will depreciate approximately 15 cents per mile driven. For every mile after that, it will depreciate by 10 cents per mile driven until the car reaches its scrap value. How much would this car be worth after being driven 92,000 miles. That is fun and a lot of fiddly little calculations, which I'm going to keep a very careful track of. All right, so it starts out at 35,000. And then immediately loses 12,000. And so that leaves us with a value of 23,000. And for the first 50,000 miles, it will depreciate 15 cents per mile driven. So I want to know what's 50,000 times 15 cents. All right, 7,500. So let me take that 7,500 right off here. And let's see. Uh, Wow, that car is depreciating a lot. Almost lost my one there. Okay, then uh, every mile after that, it's 10 cents per mile. So when it's driven 92,000 miles, I've already driven 50,000. So I need to go another 42,000. Driving a lot, going on road trips across the country apparently. 42,000, well, I don't need my calculator for this. 42,000 times a tenth is going to be 4,200. And subtract 300. Uh, so it should be $11,300. And if I look at my answer choices, there it is, answer choice A. Awesome. Let's see what I'm doing next. Um, page 114. Uh, flipping back a little bit, question number four. Here we go. At 350 degrees, an oven can cook approximately three pounds of turkey per hour. Uh, at 450 degrees, it can cook approximately 4.5 pounds per hour. How many more ounces of turkey can the oven cook at 450 degrees than at 350 degrees in 10 minutes. Okay, lots of moving parts here. That happens a lot with rates, ratios, types of problems. So I'm looking for ounces, so I'm gonna convert my pounds into ounces. Actually, you know what, the pounds are easier to work with, so I'm gonna wait to convert to ounces until the end. So um, in 10 minutes, that's one-sixth of an hour. How much can the 350 degree oven? So if it's three pounds per hour, then times one-sixth of an hour, one-sixth of three is going to be half a pound of turkey, okay? Uh, 450 degrees, it can cook 4.5 pounds per hour times one-sixth of an hour equals 4.5 over six, uh, which is going to be, I think it's three-fourths, but let me just check myself real fast. There we go, okay. All right, three-fourths of a pound. 
So if a pound is 16 ounces, then 1 half times 16 equals 8 ounces. 1 half times 16, or not 1 half, 3 fourths, equals 12 ounces. And the difference between them is 4 more ounces at 450 degrees which is answer choice A. And I'm looking at answer choices C and D going, you were waiting to trick me if I didn't think this all the way through, SAT. I'm on to you. All right, next up, we've got page 122, question number 27. And getting myself more paper. Uh, okay, what have we got going on here? A company reimburses employees for a portion of their gas costs for commuting to and from work based on mileage. Based on the following data, what is the rate in dollars per gallon that the company uses to reimburse employees? Ooh, okay, bullet points. 126 employees who commute. Average employee traveled 12,250 miles to and from work over the course of a year. Average gas mileage was 22.5 miles per gallon, and the company paid out a total of $96,040 in, $96, in gas reimbursements. Okay, so if I want the rate of dollars per gallon, I need the total dollars, which they give me, and the total miles, which I can get from combining the number of employees, how far they traveled, and their miles per gallon. So I'm going to set myself up a rate conversion chart here. So we've got 126 people um, and each of them on average traveled 12,250 miles per person. And then their gas mileage was 22.5 miles per gallon. Got to make sure that I get my units canceling here. Um, and then I want to combine that with my dollar amount in order to get dollars per gallon. So, uh, going to, I'm going to have to divide that. Let me get this first. Um, so 100, 126 people times 12,250 miles each gives me a whole lot of miles. 1,543,500 miles divided by 22.5. So people, people, miles, miles. This is going to give me gallons out the end. Um, so all of that divided by 22.5 equals 68,600 gallons of gasoline. And then in order to find dollars per gallon, I do 96,000 40 divided by 68,600 gallons. So let me do that. 96,040 divided by 68,600 equals a dollar and 40 cents per gallon, which I haven't looked at gas prices lately, but that seems kind of low, but it is in my answer choices. Answer choice C. So thanks for watching me. And again, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. And I will see you on the next three SAT practice questions.